Hi folks, this is Steve from Aaron's Music. I haven't trimmed it yet. It looks like a hippie. Um, this is a Jubal soprano ukulele. I had a guy come in here a couple, three weeks ago looking for a ukulele and I told him I could make one. So I made one. This happens to have an Adirondack spruce top. I don't want to call it a cast off because that's the wrong word, but I had tried to make a guitar from the top and there was an issue and it ended up kind of being scrapped, but there was still plenty of top wood there, so I used it. So turning lemons into lemonade, which I don't know how you feel, but I think lemonade's tasty. It's a mahogany back, mahogany rim, mahogany neck. I did a ebony fingerboard because I have a lot of ebony around here. And unlike most of them, uh, it joins the body at the 13th fret, which usually they only have 12 frets. And I've got actually a total of 14. Um, I used, because it's an ebony fingerboard, I used ebony for the bridge. Bone saddle, bone nut. I'd like to take credit for that design, but there's not much design on that bridge. It's just a way to hold the strings on. It's got uh, Grover tuners on it. And these are actually real gut strings. Um, the guy that, that asked for this likes the sound of real gut strings, and I'd never actually used one on a ukulele. And he actually had some, and he brought them down to me, and gave is the wrong word, but he brought them to me to put on this. And hopefully he'll purchase this thing later today. But he wanted to play it first, and I don't blame him. And usually, gut strings aren't quite as loud as, as nylon strings, but this is nearly as loud as a nylon string uke. And it's just a cute little thing. Oh, you'll see around the sound hole I did a hash mark. A, 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 a. See how I put that around it? Looks kind of cool, I thought. I had some of that stuff, and I thought, well, why not use it? And I did the dark sunburst, kind of like Gibson would do. And I used uh, uh, mahogany to do the binding on the top. There's no binding on the back, which is, it's kind of traditional to not do binding on the back. Although you can do that too, and I've made them like that too. So anyway. These big old hands aren't built for playing little old ukuleles, but I can get up on it and it plays all the way up. As long as I do my job and the intonation is good. And I only strung it up about an hour ago, so it's still going in and out of tune. And I think it's just really cute. And and if Charlie doesn't buy it, well, somebody out there might like it. So if it doesn't sell, I'll take it to the uh, fretboard festival and maybe somebody there will get it. So, hey, have a happy day. And uh, uh, it's wintertime here right now. But if you look at this in six months, you'll be like, hey, I wonder when he did that during the winter. Have a happy day. Take care. This is Steve. Bye.